you guys touched on it, the tribal knowledge of the freight broker themselves is that these automation tools don't do that job for those people. This is something that those people build out. And you can't, you know, you can't just look at a TMS history and say, okay, perfect. You know, we'll feed this data into Parade and it will work just like having another body in here. Um, there is there's a lot of building, you know, you've got to have, you've got to extract that tribal knowledge. So where we saw our biggest success was every time we had a conversation with one of our carriers or one of our customers, Sean, on your end, was that we would input that data into whichever system that we needed to input that data to. And instead of using that yellow notepad that we've all got, of course, here is the, uh, we would put it into the system and that system then would start to read that data. And as you said, Elise, as those things started to get input more and more, we started to notice that we didn't even need those manual processes on that end and people would start to to work on it themselves rather than reaching out to one of us which in turn turned the conversations uh we had a big issue you know every phone call we had with one of our carriers felt like a transaction we were always negotiating there was never the hi how's your day going you know how's how's the farm how's how's the city this week um and we started to see a big change on that end because we didn't have to talk about the price. We didn't have to talk about what time the loads picked up. We didn't need to do any of those things. Uh, nobody asked if we had a load from A to B tomorrow. They were already logged on. They said, hey, I just sent a quote from A to B. How's everything going? And it really, really made a big difference. But I don't want to skew anybody's idea of, you know, we, we uploaded a spreadsheet and everything was automated from there. There is a lot of front end legwork on this.